Now we'll take a look at problem two. In problem two, we are told that Professor Sahai and his brother are guarding a pair of magical doors that appear to be identical. But one of the doors gets you to a room full of Smog's treasure and the other to a room full of angry goats. You want to get to the room filled with treasure. Both professors know which door is which and they know each other. So the truth teller knows that the other is a liar and vice versa. The problem is that one of them always lies and the other always tells the truth, but you don't know which is which. Can you ask a question whose answer will reveal to you which door to take? What question should this be? Argue why this works or why no question could possibly work. So the key to this problem is that we know that the truth teller will take a question and he will answer that question, whereas the liar takes a question and he essentially answers the negative version of the question. It's another way of expressing the fact that he's lying. He will always tell exactly the opposite of the truth. One really key thing to notice here is that if we compose these functions, for example, like this, what we end up with is not Q. Similarly, if we compose them in the opposite direction, we also end up with not Q. You can just check this for yourself pretty quickly. So what this means is that we need to ask one of them something about what the other one would say, which is the English equivalent of composing these two functions. So, for example, what we might say is, if I asked the other person whether the door you're guarding leads to the treasure, would he answer yes? Then, we can actually easily check that this is the case with a simple truth table. So, here we have a truth table. Uh, we set it up so that we have enumerated the people here and the doors that they're, uh, what their doors lead to. And then just for, uh, just to do it step by step, we mention who the other person is as well. So the correct answer to your question of, if I asked the other person whether the door you're guarding leads to the treasure, would he answer yes? In this case, you get a pattern of no, yes, yes, no. And you can check this for yourself really easily. You just have to think through it a little bit. And then what you hear on the top two lines, the liar will negate his answer. So he turns from a no, yes to a yes, no when the truth teller keeps his the same because he's telling the truth. Now the really important thing to notice here is that this column has the same pattern as this column, which means that when you hear a yes, you know that his door leads to goats, and when you hear a no, you know his door leads to treasure. So that's the solution to problem two.